This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge, where face attorney investigations, everybody! We're oh, going oh. to Holobastion. Holobast. And turn about boys. We're in. The, oh, we're already in the middle? Part one? I thought it was beginning part one, beginning part two. No. No, it's fine. just gonna be end former part one, end former <laughs> part five. That's fine. End middle part one. No, yeah, yeah, we just have to hop on our gummy ship and get to Halabastion. Yes, that's how that works. Oh, okay, we're there. March 14th, 7 44 p.m., Theatrum Neutralis Lava. Someone eating something? Whoa! Cone off! What? 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 Shifu, 99 cards! So all 99 members are most likely here and accounted for, sir. Hey, you. Yeah, you. The second number one from my right. Oh, uh, sir? Yes, sir? Here, a birthday present for you. What? Shifu, I didn't know that you knew all of our birthdays! What a kind heart you have! Shifu, you are more of a man than we'll ever be, <laughs> sir! Um... I'm really sorry, but it's not my birthday. Lane Z says, A cup of disrespects of her soon feels the disciplinary bite of an elder. That present isn't for you. It's for your younger brother's wife's younger brother. <laughs> Tell him I said hi and happy birthday, won't you? you yes, sir! <laughs> what? Shifu, I can't believe you remembered that much about each of us! Shifu, I, I'm so moved that I can't stop crying. <laughs> what in the world? I should probably leave them to their alone time. <laughs> All right, meeting's over. Everyone, head to your posts. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Yo, were you guys there the whole time? I got a call from Sheenon, she's already filled me in. It sounds like you're out to get in my way again. I have absolutely no intention of interrupting your investigation. I simply request that you grant me permission to investigate the Alabastian Embassy. Huh, and what if I say no? Objection! Agent Lang, this man is my subordinate. As I have received permission from the Ambassador, he is to be extended the same rights. Sorry sis, but it's not that simple. Alabast has the strictest immigration regulations in the world, or didn't you know? Even among my elite men, only about half of them were admitted to the country. Besides, any more cooks in the kitchen and we might spoil the soup, if you get what I mean. How dare you make such assumptions! Don't take this the wrong way. But, I thought I was in charge of Alabast, Miss Von Karma. <sighs> Look, try to understand, okay? Things over in Alabast are a bit of a mess right now. What do you mean by, a bit of a mess? No one told you? We had an incident in Alabast as well. Who's dead? This is what we call a decision based on the investigation, Mr. Prosecutor. Look, Wolfie, just let us in already! Who's there? Oh, um, uh, oh, this, I think this is the voice I have to choose. Um, is there a problem here? No, no, not that. <laughs> <laughs> is there a problem here, Agent Lane? Oh, it's an old man. It's, uh, um... Master Ugwe! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Not really. Just having a discussion about whether or not to let these guys in. Ambassador Alba, I ask that you please allow these people to join the investigation. <laughs> He's a he, willow tree. <laughs> he looks like if Athos had curly hair and looked uglier. Snap. Yeah. Uh, what was the voice I was <laughs> giving him? Like, <laughs> I'm not giving, I was almost going to be like, having a debate because of my country. I don't think that fits <laughs> in very well. Then. Not quite. <laughs> having a debate because of my country. I'm terribly sorry for placing you good people in that kind of situation. It is all because I lack the strength to govern well. Uh, you're really old, bro. Please, it is nothing of the sort, Ambassador. You weakling, Quirkus! Curse your frailty and inability to affect change in your country! W what are you? The thing is, investigations conducted in my country have been under Agent Lane. 
and it is my judgment that, that in order to minimize disruption in the investigation, I should leave everything up to Agent Lane. Can we play as him? There, you see? Oh, no way! <laughs> oh, hey, bro! <laughs> Ambassador Alba, I ask you, please reconsider letting them into Alabast. What's that? My very own secretary has been murdered in the Bobbly's embassy. And he was apparently caught up in some very shady dealings, completely unbeknownst to me. So I ask for your cooperation in our investigation. These aren't much, but I hope they can cover your travel expenses to Babal someday. Alright, alright, I get it. Even if you beg Ambassador Alba, I still have to give the final okay anyway. All right! You hear that, Mr. Edgeworth? We're in! Not so fast, my little crow girl. You're still a witness in the Babal murder. So I'd like you to please stay in the Republic of Babal. Uh. Detective Gumshoe, please take good care of Kay for me. That's fine. Yes, sir! Oh, cool. We're with Von Karma. Sounds good to me. The fewer troublemakers, the better. Uh. I don't know what that was. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't gonna- I don't think Alba has, like, the Oogway voice, no, unfortunately. No, sadly. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes? So, I wanted to ask for a while now, but... That lady over there, is she who I think she is? Ah, uh, that's right. I didn't introduce the two of you yet. Francisca von Karma, the prosecutor- The prosecutorial Pros prodigy. It's nice to see you again. Oh, I knew it! You're the whip lady! You may address me as Ms. Von Karma. Ms. Von Karma, I leave the investigation of Alvast in your hands. Thanks. Rest assured, I will outsmart both the smuggling ring and the Yadagarasu. Francisca's a lot nicer now, which is great. She's a lot nicer now, and they remembered each other. That's yeah. even better. And, I mean, she, and she was nice to kids. It's hard <laughs> to forget the whip lady, am I right? <laughs> yeah. The smuggling ring, huh? Perhaps I should ask Francisca a bit more about them before I head into Alabast. Ah, oh, and I mustn't forget to thank Ambassador Peleno for all that he has done for me. <laughs> Ooh, these flowers are nice. These flowers are a gift from the Gatewater Imperial Hotel. It appears that their business has boomed since they became a Steel Samurai sponsor. Is that so? Oh, where's the- it's the weird- no, d d d go back! It's the weird guy! The guard? Yeah, it's the guard that looks like he hopped out of Star Wars. <laughs> the national flag of the Kingdom of Alabast is on display- oh, we've hidden it. The credits with the flower- the knife with the flower on design we found in the Bobbley's Embassy. It would appear that it is definitely connected to the Kingdom of Alabast. We already knew that! Sorry. There's a flat panel, a VCR, and a row of Steel Samurai videos on the table. There might be a clue among these. I'd better check the titles of these videos. My my, the things I put myself through for the sake of the investigation. <laughs> That's fun. The national- I didn't examine the flag, I examined the dude. Come on. He's like, this is the national flag. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man! I appreciate that. It's like the national flag has this guy on it. Hmm, may I ask do you to- <laughs> He looks like he's doing this! <laughs> Just like no, shoving he, him in the face. No, it looks like he's like rubbing his chest. <laughs> That's it. May, may I ask you to please move right away? away. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. We are closing clearly in the alien. <laughs> I didn't understand you at all. I asked for your patience until we're done. Very well. Oh, and I hope the brush clearing goes smoothly. Yeah, literally, it's like he like rubbed his chest. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, oh, I'm counting on you to keep Kay safe. Yes, sir. You just leave everything to me, sir. And don't you worry. I'll take good care of Gummy for you. We'll go investigate into the Babal side of things together. Right, Kay? That's right, Gummy. All they're missing is the last stooge. <laughs> Get right in here. The Steel Samurai and Gem and Ninja stage shows were held just beyond these doors. I want to see them! After the Gem and Ninja show ended, we came out here and we were greeted with a fire. Then the appearance of the Yadagrasu and a murder were far from solving anything yet. <sighs> Ambassador Peleno, I am in your debt. No, no, it's nothing. Because it's about all I can do for you, I'm afraid. I only ask that you please bring Manny's killer to justice. I will, Ambassador. On my honor. He probably chased us out of the other... To clean stuff to, up. To clean stuff up and or There's to have... There's a third compartment in this thing. <laughs> Where? <laughs> There's like a little spot with like a ring holder or whatever. 
<laughs> no, I'm guessing it'll be like we come back and it's like, well, there's another person dead. That's pretty weird. <laughs> wow, you're so sensational. You've really piqued my curiosity. I know they aren't much, but please know that I'm giving them to you wholeheartedly. How many coupons does this guy have? No, that's quite all right. Oh, well, how about this then? Ink? And what exactly is it? It's Fountain Penny. Known as a Bobbly's Ink, it's made exclusively in Babal. So this is Bobbly's Ink. We make it from white crystal oil, which is mined through our mineral mines. Please accept this ink, one dip of your fountain pen in this, and you can write for hours in your organizer. How fortunate for me, the ink in my pen just happened to have run out. I gladly accept your gracious gift. Bobbly's Ink, you're noted in their organizer. Great, wonderful! I guarantee to you that our writing in our ink is an unforgettable experience. You'll die! <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's and, poisonous. And since we don't export it, if you run out, you're always welcome to come and visit our fair nation. Talk about cornering the customer along with the market. Well, this guy he, just really wants us to visit like Bobbly's Disney like, World. Okay, he looks like he's gonna clap or <laughs> punch Franziska. Franziska. I like okay. Polano, though. He's nice. You've made so much progress in your investigation in such a short amount of time. It's truly amazing. Agent Hicks, whose help I requested, was cut down before he completed his test. Rip, Mr. Stewart. Oh, it was him! That's right! In the... Yeah. Oh, there's no room for further failure in my perfect investigation. In spite of that, I believe you were able to obtain some insight into the ring, correct? It was nothing. I simply made some deductions based on the smuggled item that I was following. You mean the Bobbly's ink? But why are there restrictions on the export of Bobbly's ink to begin with? That's classified Interpol info. Franziska, as your subordinate, I'm part of your investigation now. Don't you think it would be beneficial if I was as well informed as you? Point taken. Very well, I'll fill you in. Recently, we discovered some very well-made counterfeit bills circulating in Zhang Fa. Counterfeit bills? Yes. As you may have deduced, the counterfeits are being made with Bobbly's special, a Bobble, the Ball special Bobbly's ink, and it's virtually impossible to distinguish bills made from the Bobbly's ink from real ones. Thus, it was only natural for Interpol to keep an eye on the Republic of the Ball. Oh, so the Bobbly's. You know ink what was I updated. keep thinking of whenever I see Bobbly's, the Tell Animal Crossing language. Oh, Bobbly's. It's Animalies and Bobbly's. Oh, Bobbly's is the. And the animal uses. Yeah. That's where this document comes into play, correct? Correct. Mr. Cochin was smuggling large amounts of Babylon's ink. Furthermore, he was charged with running the embassy's printing equipment. That's all the evidence I need to know that he was the head of the smuggling ring. However, there remains one tiny problem. Let me guess. You still have yet to find the counterfeit bills or the smuggling? Yes. And while we're listing things, I might as well add the counterfeit plates to the pile. Since we haven't been able to locate any of the items in the Bobbly's embassy, we're looking into the en Halabastian embassy next. It doesn't matter where they're hidden. Mark my words, I will find them. Counterfeit bills data jotted down in the organizer. Well, shall we get going? Someone's dead. What's wrong, kid? I didn't get permission to enter Alabas. So we're gonna go gather whatever info we can over in the Bobbly side, okay? Alright, I'm counting on you two. Right, and I'm counting on you and Ms. Von Conrad to sniff out our clues in Alabas. Oh, and Mr. Edgeworth, if you happen to come across my phony, you let me know, okay? If you tell me, I'll rush over straight away no matter where you are. I'll let you know when the time comes. March 14th, 8.17 p.m., Alabastian Embassy, Ambassador's Office. Okay. It's basically a mirror image of the other side, but it's not Yeah, burned. and it's green. Hmm? Gah! What do you think you're doing to my subordinate? Hats off to you. Y you're! Edgy! <laughs> oh, thank the heavens you're here! What in the world? You're in every single game, dude! <laughs> He's not in Apollo or Justice for I all. knew someone was in that freaking suit. <laughs> At least it's not old bag. I'm in a really, really big pickle, your lordship! The raven, it appeared, poof, and the disappeared swoosh. And though I am the steel samurai, 
My sword in. Oh, I, I'm so confused. I don't know what anything means. Anymore. Wait, does that mean Larry's the actual real Steel Samurai then? Or is he just like a promotion like doo -doo 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 -doo? I think he was the actual Steel Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, for the stage show. Oh, that's amazing though. Who is this fruitcake? That's a great line. I am Larry of the House of Butts, married man of Neo Old Tokyo, m'lady. He's married? What's with that face? <laughs> now I remember. This person is one of your friends, isn't he, Miles? Yes, frighteningly enough, he is. Hey, what's up with that answer? Your best bud is in a bind and you act like it's no big deal. What sort of bind are we talking about here? The suspect kind! I accidentally became a suspect in a murder! I see. That is quite the bind. Not that we're in the least bit surprised. Yes, I pretty much expected this news. From the instant I saw this unlucky face... <laughs> his name is Larry Butts. I've known him since grade school, and for as long as I've known him... He has been the world's largest source of trouble with a capital T. That rhymes with P. That stands, stands for cool. <laughs> hey, what kind of introduction is that? You're so mean, Edgy. If you're not careful, you might find your tiny number of friends go down by one. He has like two friends. That was uncalled for. Besides your... Wait, hold on. Larry! It was you? You're the one who wrote the Steel Samurai autograph! <laughs> You didn't even notice earlier? I even winked at you through my headpiece. What's going on? And why are you beat red? Sorry, but could you not speak to me right now? <laughs> oh, sorry, am I interrupting your comical yet melodramatic play? <laughs> <laughs> Aha. So this is the incident you mentioned earlier. Mr. Prosecutor, this man, this childhood friends of yours, is our prime suspect. Of what, you ask? Of the murder of a man who had snuck into this embassy, Mask to Mask 2. <laughs> mask to Mask 2? This is after the Mask to Mask case? Yeah. Oh. When does this take place? I'm so- After Trials and Tribulations, before the flashback oh, case Oh, okay, okay. So this isn't the first rodeo that Larry's been convicted no, of. No, okay. because he and Francisca have met before. Right? Mask to Mask 2. It's a red-headed person, or, or it's that That's much blood. blood. That's blood. That's <laughs> blood. Only Larry could get himself into yet another mess as fine as this. Wonder who's dead. But no matter what the facts seem to say, Larry is not the type to commit murder. Still, it's a rather daunting stroke of misfortune I've struck. Uh-huh, always. I have to prove that Larry Butts is innocent of all wrongdoing. Shifu, we've identified the victim! <laughs> what? I thought I did. I, that didn't look like it said Shifu for my vision. Oh, you I thought just... it said a naughty word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good work! I'll take that report now. Agent Lane, would you mind if I take a peek at it as well? What did I tell you earlier, Mr. Prosecutor? Don't get in my way. There's only enough flesh here to feed one wolf, and that is me. So no, you may not take a peek. But Agent Lane... What are you here for? Freaking... Agent Lane. Why hasn't Phoenix Wright met him at all? If he's such a big detective. Because he always meets Gumshoe. But he has such a big... And you're telling me Gumshoe was in the mountains? Over <laughs> in, like, all these places? Like, come on! I, it's it's a far stretch. They, they didn't have all the assets. That's true. Will you allow an investigator such as myself to take a look? Ah, uh, yes. Of course. You, let the detective see the file. Your... Detective Bad, your prosecutor, Mr. Edgeworth, right? He looks exactly the same. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, Detective. You weren't expecting me? Ever since that day seven years ago, I've chased after the Yadagarasu nonstop. I even pressured Interpol into keeping me in the loop, in case a card is ever found. What incredible dedication to the case. Detective Bad knows the Yadagarasu's M.O. very well. And his passion for the chase hasn't died down in these seven long years. It's something I can respect. But Detective Bad, I must ask, are you going to make an ally out of this prosecutor? My only goal is to arrest the Yadagarasu. If he can get to the bottom of this case, then I'm willing to share info with him. I am in your debt, Detective Bad. Okay. I like Detective Bad. I'm glad he's back. 
about the murder of Damask II, would you mind just filling me in on a few of the details? When the Adagarasu showed up, Agent Lane and I took ourselves off guard duty and put ourselves in charge of directing things at this crime scene. Taking advantage of the chaos, Damask II, he broke into this embassy. Probably to steal some treasure or another. That's another thing. Detective Bad is like his only goal really is to work with Yadagarasu cases. So if it's like my face accused of murdering, like blah blah blah. He's don't, like, I don't care, I don't about, care about this about crap. This. <laughs> He's also old enough that he could pick his cases if right. he wanted to. And I suppose he lost his life when he was forced to fight someone else in his room. Why exactly was that man placed under arrest, Detective? That samurai. He was born looking suspicious, but not for the reasons you suspect, I assure you. As you can plainly see, he is completely harmless. Well, it was just a random guess. It's not like he's actually under arrest. Tonight, here at the Alba Bastion Embassy, Ambassador Alba was to give a commemorative speech. And that's when the Yadagrasu showed. But keep in mind, the Yadagrasu isn't who I'm talking about right now. Those seats, for the guests who had been called to sit in them, were empty. A no-show? Who was it that failed to take their seat? The Steel Samurai. Until the speech was to begin, each member of the entire Steel Samurai family was to wait in a separate room. However, for some weird reason, that man was spotted in a different location than his assigned room at that time. And where was he? He was on the roof with one of his legs down a chimney. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up! What in the world is he doing? He's that, like in his shorts like, gotta get down the chimney. That, gotta go. That chimney leads directly into this room. I bet Larry Butts is the <sighs> one who set it on fire. He's totally the one who set the building on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Butts, you've really outdone yourself this time. What were you thinking? <laughs> In any case, I believe it's high time for me to start my investigation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Begin investigation. So, first thing I could say off the bat, um, all three swords are on the hey, wall. Hey, Franziska's our partner, and she's following us around She's like, stuff. idiot. Mm. Idiot, idiot. Alright, let's talk to Franziska first. Yes. Wow, three things. I've only just arrived in this room myself, which is why we need to investigate some more. Yes, I agree. Our priority should be on understanding what the current situation is. Hmm, <laughs> of course. I was planning to do that from the very beginning. In that case, hurry up and start the investigation already. I, I will! So let's get started! In order to find out the truth beyond what happened here, I should start by gathering as much information as I can. Master Mask, I see that yet another weirdo has popped up in my absence. Yes, and as I understand it, he was a brilliant thief who, to whom the world was his oyster. He stole extremely valuable objects one after another for a while. And does that mean Ron is dead? It's the second mask to mask, so probably not. Detective Gumshoe was in charge of the case, and not once did he catch the mask. Hmm. I had already researched all that, you know, when I was flying over from Germany. <laughs> I always do all my research on the plane. <laughs> Last year, when Damask gave up himself and was finally arrested, he was apparently res represented by that man. Knowing him, I'm almost curious as to how insane that trial turned out to be. They're referencing Phoenix's case. Oh, indeed. But why would anyone want to kill Damask? Logic. I should really find out some more about the victim. What exactly is that hideous fashion fox paw, paws costume he's wearing supposed to be? The paw. 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 It's French. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. But there's something different about it than what I remember. That costume is from the very first Steel Samurai. It's a live-action superhero show on television, beloved by children and adults alike. <laughs> the Steel Samurai's weapon is the Samurai Spear. And it is with the Samurai Spear that he performs his special attacks. Which enthrall all who watch them in action. You seem to know quite a bit. Not at all. And in any case, Franziska, I believe the samurai you are familiar with is the second one, the Nickel Samurai, which was part of that case last year. Do you recall that case? Yes, I remember. Although, I'd much rather stay- have it stay buried in the depths of my mind. 
Not that I blame her. She was shot during that course of the shot, trial. So. I fear she may still be suffering great trauma over the shooting. Yeah, that's not something that you're gonna forget. <laughs> anyway, that aside, it looks like the Steel Samurai is the suspect this time. Yes, although that's because of who is inside the costume rather than the character. Ah! That's right! If he is the Steel Samurai! Miles Edgeworth, have you been in shock over something this whole time? N no, I'm not in shock over anything. I wanted to forget that I had received the Steel Samurai autograph from Larry. But the autograph. The drawing of the samurai spear and the character of his face. Why did he waste so much time on the most useless parts of the autograph? <laughs> hmm? Hey, Edgy, did you say something? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So this is the victim, Damask 2. Who is- what is with this gaudy outfit? You don't know about Mask to Mask? A few months ago, this thief caused a lot of havoc on the populace. So this thief is separate from the Otogarasu? I thought they were for a while, because their MO and targets were different. Damask likes high-value trinkets and jewels, and being gaudy is his signature. Gumshoe was in charge of that investigation, so he'd know more about Damask. That's all right. All I'd probably hear are tales of his failure anyway. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, I see. In any case, let's get started here, shall we? I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking cranny. First off, the sword. So this is the murder weapon in this case. There's blood on the blade. It's a rather sweeping sword, isn't it? What did you expect? It's Steel Samurai Daddy's secondary weapon. <laughs> that sounds weird. Yep. <laughs> Nice work, Bone Ooh, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> oh, gosh. I only call it his secondary because although he uses his sword in most of his battles, it's his trusty samurai spear that he turns to in a real fight. You sure know quite a bit about the Steel Samurai. That's only because I saw the stage show earlier. The owner of this sword is the Steel Samurai, or in other words, Larry. I should probably ask him about it, as detrimental as it is to proving him innocent. Okay. The Samurai sword. Uh, uh, examine the head of the blood. I thought the Damask had quit the business. This guy, he's just a copycat using the name. A phony successor. He's just another petty thief. His real identity is an out-of-work guy by the name of Kashino. I, that is like the only victim whose name I never remembered. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> well, it sounds a lot like Sheena. Kashino. He's 29 and wanted on larceny charges. From his clothes and what he was carrying, we determined that this guy is the real Matt Dis Damask too. The cause of death appears to be loss of blood from the back of his head. At least it wasn't blunt force trauma. Finally. It seems that he was struck with something very hard. Never mind. Yes, he was. In other words, he was bludgeoned to death. A blunt force trauma to head. It's always blunt force trauma to head every time, except for like two times when people were shot or um stabbed. That or, happens a lot. Or drank poison and or died. Or electrocuted. Or elect- There was that one- I forgot about electrocution that one time. That was- That was weird, though. That was cool, though. That was cool. And even then, I'm still think he got <laughs> hit in the head after that. No, he got electrocuted. Curse, it's Peter Pan! There's not a single shred of fashion sense in Damask's costume. Well, at least I can appreciate the great effort he must have put into making it. You two don't know. You can buy this costume almost anywhere now. It's being sold? Since when? <laughs> Since around New Year's, the streets are practically flooded with them. Turns out Damask is a lot more popular than I thought he'd be. This I is can't a... believe that foolish fool would dress in foolish clothing to ask fool to act foolishly! That's like if someone was like, I'm the great thief, but I'm like dressed like a cosplay character, and everyone's like, oh man, I love that cosplay character now. It's great. That'd be like if everyone decided, what's like the hit it, ho Halloween costume of the year? Elsa. It's like if, if like someone wore an Elsa costume, stole something, and everyone's like, Elsa stole stuff? That's great! Let's all dress like Elsa. Yeah. But that doesn't even- Or like work. Carmen San Diego at the end of the game. Like, yeah! Like everyone dresses like, it's like, everybody wants to dress like Carmen San Diego. I'm like, why didn't you do this? We got your point about the three foolishes aback, Francisca. Ooh. What is he holding? It looks like a piece of paper from a notepad. Alabas Primadu statue, fifth floor ambassador's office. It would appear that directions on how to reach this room were written by hand. Hmm. There's something written on the back as well. 
I'd like you to steal the Prima Duke statue in this room. What is that supposed to mean? Who writes a note to themselves like that? If I had to guess from the text, I would say that this is actually a request from someone about what to steal. Just who is this person that requested the theft of the Prima Duke statue? Why would... Why would anyone want that anyway? I don't know. I suppose this was the wrapping cloth Damask II used to carry his stolen goods. But there's nothing wrapped in it now. I guess he never did manage to get his hands on whatever he was out to steal. <sighs> I don't really want to examine his crotch. <laughs> Not I was about to say. That might actually be everything. Go back. And check again. Yeah, okay, that's everything. Yeah, this is like the most forgettable character in the whole series. Probably because he's not. Oh wait, we already did all this. 